Lara, I know you have something you want to share about a segment in last week's pop news. I do, I do. I screwed up. I did. The comment I made about dance was insensitive, it was stupid, and I am deeply sorry. I've spoken with several members of the dance community over the past few days. I have listened. I have learned about the bravery it takes for a young boy to pursue a career in dance. And last night I sat down with three influential dancers who have lived it firsthand. I um, I'll never forget being in middle school and some of the guys found out that the dance studio is pretty close to, to school. And they were like, oh, I want to see this cute girl I have a crush on dancing. So they come to the studio one day after school and they see me in a ballet class with them. And it wasn't about the girls, it was them pointing and laughing through the window. I can't tell you how hot, how much that hurts. They are three of ballet's most celebrated dancers. Robbie Fairchild, a former principal with the New York City Ballet, then Broadway star, and now about to dance onto the big screen in the film version of Cats. He's two-time Emmy-winning choreographer Travis Wall from So You Think You Can Dance. And Fabrice Kelmels, principal dancer with the Joffrey Ballet in Chicago, all of us coming together for one reason, to turn a negative into a positive. Thank you guys for being here. It has been a true education for me and an opportunity, I hope. I know that you guys all agreed to come because that's what we all want here. The fact that all of us are sitting here with you and you are brave enough to open up about something that may have come out, not intentionally how you meant it, mm -hmm. but it came out. The fact that you're able to be here and talk with us is really important mm -hmm. because we are a community of love and in order for us to move forward, we have to move forward together. Travis, you've been nominated for how many Emmys now? Uh, nine. For your work on So You Think You Can Dance. Yes. Is that show changing the perception for boys in dance? Absolutely. How many boys have started to dance because of that show uh, makes me so proud to represent that show. And I think that the message that I was just trying to get across was that I want more boys to dance. We make such beautiful art and we create such beautiful moments in this world and I wish the world would dance more. What do you hope that everybody watching this learns from this moment? I just wish people would be a bit more open-minded and, and understand what others are doing. More empathy would be lovely. I teach young kids and boys, they just drop, you know, because of the stigma, the social stigma around the form. Children need to, should be entitled to experience things without being bullied. Just let people follow their dream, whether it's mm -hmm. dance, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. What would you like to say to any little boy who loves dancing and might be afraid to dive in? I think you have to avoid the noise. Uh, use that as inspiration. Um, look at us, like look at anybody that's like, who's been through all of it and it's like it always gets better. And boys dancing, I mean, we're the coolest, right? <laughs> boys dancing, are, it, it is, yeah, like we're awesome. <laughs> but as a guy to have a, a, a male role model, mine was Gene Kelly. Mm. And mm. I wouldn't be where I'm at without singing in the rain in a VHS, mm. watching on my TV. Now, that was a pivotal moment I was like, He's doing what I'm do that I want to do, and he's making it so cool. Rob, you're about to star in Cats. Yeah. Do you hope that people will go see that movie and understand even more the beauty of your passion of dance? Dance has the ability to tell amazing stories, and and there's nothing more feline than ballet. And so getting to be on set with the people that we were on set with, I was right next to Dame Judi Dench holding her hand, crawling like a cat with her. It was just the most crazy experience. And here I am thinking, who's gonna see this and have that moment? That moment that- You could be the next us... Gene Kelly. You could hey, be- Hey, that's the dream. <laughs> Some little boy is going to watch Cats and hopefully have that moment and say, I'm doing this because I watched Robbie Fairchild. That would be the dream. I think it's really important for us to take this as a, as a lesson to learn that there are things that I don't understand that maybe I should in order to appreciate it more for what it is. For me, the lesson is that 
words hurt and it was not my intention, but it was insensitive. And I thank you all for giving me the opportunity to apologize personally to you and for you guys coming in here to sit and talk to me and to educate me. And again, I'm really sorry. Apology accepted. Absolutely, 100%. So grateful for our very positive conversation and that opportunity to turn a negative into a teachable moment. Yeah, we learned a lot right there. They're so gracious as well. And I know yeah. Travis and Robbie were out there in Times Square yep. uh, this morning teaching some boys how to dance. Really nice. That's great. We are Thank grateful you, Larry. for you. Mm -hmm. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.